One of my viewers reminded me of an important way you can easily access your notes in Evernote. Carl from Cambodia wrote, can you show us how hyperlinks and note links work in Evernote? Of course I can, Carl. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Edwards. When you have a lot of notes in Evernote, you really need a strategy for how you file them so they're easier to find. I make a lot of use of note links. Links now not only allow you to navigate between notes, but they also allow you to share notes with others. Let me show you how they work. Let's begin by looking at how to share links within Evernote. Now, uh, note links, uh, in case you've never used them, allows you to link from one note to another, making it easier to you know, quickly jump between notes. I use this a lot when I create a master list of related events. Uh, for example, I also use this uh, when I want to share notes with a client. Uh, I will typically have notes from every one of our meetings and conversations. I put them in a note, much like this one. Now I want to share this with them. So here's what you do. You have this note. One of the simplest ways of sharing the note is to click on this blue plus button. And you will see an item for note link. I click on the note and I click insert. Now you can see there is a link uh, to that note. So let's say I had a note for a client and I wanted to add a note about a particular conversation that we had to this master note. I might keep you know 10 or 15 uh, summaries of our meetings. If I want to insert a link to one of those notes, I click the plus button. Now I click on note link and it gives me options to pick from. I can select a note and I can click insert. Once I've done that, it creates a link to that note. So the next time I meet with that person, I might have another note and another note and another note. This becomes then the home base for my conversations with that client. Uh, by the way, another simple way of doing this is to type command plus options plus K on your keyboard, and that will quickly insert that note link as well. Now, you can send a note to someone else even if they don't use Evernote. I use this a lot uh, as well because every note that you create in Evernote has a unique URL that you can copy and paste. And then, you know, if you're sending an email to that person, you can paste in the URL and uh, that person can open your note. Now, the other cool thing about this is when they click on the link, it gets them the latest version. So in other words, if you're making changes in your note and you send them this URL, they will see the latest update. So if you want to do that, uh, you come to the top where it says Share. You click on that button and you click on where it says Shareable Link. It's now dis disabled. You enable it. And now you copy this link. When you send that link to someone, they have access to that information. You can also share a note with someone else, but not give them access to the changes. In other words, just a, a one-off note. In essence, you're sending a snapshot of the note. So, for example, if you ask for information about my consulting services, I might send you a link to a full description. It's based in Evernote. So here's how you do it. Again, you hit, click the green share button. Now you click the email. You type in the person's address. You can also type in an optional, optional message. And then you click send. You can also change permissions for a note that you've shared, including stop sharing. So now you're on the note. You click the green share button. And now at the very bottom, all you have to do is click 
stop sharing and that will meet your that will make your note uh, no longer accessible the other thing you want to know about is how evernote uses backlinks i did a video about backlinks and i'll post it above me there so you can find it i'm always surprised when i find evernote users who really don't make full use of note links so carl thank you very much for asking if you have a question about evernote send me an email my email address is daveedwards at outlook.com or just post a comment below.